Hey everybody, welcome to Glossom World. <clears throat> Ooh, why is it every time you start a video, you have to clear your throat? Yeah, I was about ready to break off in song, I better not do it. I am on my way to a free flower giveaway. And this is something that they do in my area every spring. They want to help families beautify their living space as well as you know when they do that it also helps to beautify the subdivision so they have a little gathering of families who want to do that and they give you a couple of free flowers they give you some soil sometimes they give you some mulch and so I signed up again this year to get my free flowers because of course I want to put them on the front of the house and spruce that up because the yard workers are going to be pulling out all trees and shrubs that did not survive due to the harsh winter that we had here in Texas this year. And so I am just heading over that way. I'm in line right now. There are many cars ahead of me. So there are a lot of people who are truly interested like I am in gardening and um, getting their yards a little zhuzh. So excuse me, y'all. I just put my face cream on this morning and it hasn't absorbed in. I'm using a new face cream and it makes my skin look very, very dewy and I don't like it, but I'm trying something new, so we shall see what's going on. Well, there's a bug crawling up my window. Go away, bug. So, okay, I will show you guys what I get when I get back to the house. See you soon. So this year's flower selection was a little bit disappointing, but you can't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? Um, they weren't allowing you to mix and match flowers, so all you were able to get was one type of flower, which I found to be, again, quite disappointing. Um, I do enjoy begonias, but I would have liked some coleuses and some other things too, but that's okay. Um, they did put some mulch in the back. I did need some more mulch. I did not need any potting soil, but again, you can't look to give horse in the mouth because it was free. So I got some begonias, I got some mulch, and I have some potting soil. So I'm going to be placing these in the garden because we're supposed to be getting some more rain. So let me get at it.
want to share something with you guys. If you ever wonder whether or not using natural resources like leaves is a benefit to your garden because you feel like they might be unsightly. Because a lot of, a lot of people don't like leaves. They think they're ugly. They, they rake them up every year. They put them on the curb and they let the trash man or anyone passing by who wants them take them. But this is why you should leave leaves in your garden beds. You see that soil? Look at that. That did not look like that when I first moved into this house. It was very uh, sandy in some areas. Some areas were really uh, claggy and, and clay-like. But look at it now. This is all because I put down wood chip and I've been putting down leaves. This is why. You want to give your soil as much nutrients as possible. You want it to feed your plants. And in order to do that, you've got to feed it. So instead of putting your leaves in the trash every year, mulch them up if you don't like them whole like I do. I don't bother to mulch them up. It doesn't bother me. Sorry about that, guys. Motorcycle went by. I don't mulch them up because it doesn't bother me. I just place them in the garden just like that and go on about my business. And the soil turns deep and rich. Can you see that? Look at that deep rich soil so the next time you're thinking about raking up those leaves and throwing them in the garbage think twice mulch them up put them on your garden beds make a leaf matter pile a compost pile and before you know it your soil will be blessing you with more and more rich goodness that you can take to your table okay everybody this is all i'm going to do to the front flower bed this morning i've just placed in the begonias and as you can see that blue flower that I'm not familiar with let me zoom you guys in the plant I was telling you about with that pretty blue flower that one's gone over but uh, there are several more down here I'm gonna kind of go slowly so you guys can see there's that pretty blue flower I was telling you guys about um, this plant is on the corner and I still have some spaces um, where I could put some stuff but when this slab was poured they had runoff concrete so there's concrete in here so there's spaces that I can't put anything but I placed the begonias in here I have the that wild blue flower growing as you can see it's creeping which is fine with me I placed a red clover here last year and it is growing really nicely it is starting to uh, creep out over onto the patio I love red clover if you don't know anything about the benefits of red clover I will place some information in the description box below I have some sweet William here sweet William loves to creep and move it's starting to come out of the little enclosure I have so I'm gonna have to re re um, stake this move the enclosure back a little bit so that it can stay inside of the enclosure and not get uh, hit by the yard crew and plus when it starts to drop seeds it's going to drop seeds down into the grass and I don't want that I have a wild type of clover growing I'm just leaving it or shamrock um, I'm leaving it because it has pretty yellow little bitty flowers and um, there's nothing wrong with leaving a little bit of actual weed in your garden if it starts to take over as you can see it's going to seed let me move in closer it is beginning to go to seed these are seed pods if it's starting to take over just pull it out before it begins to drop seed again another begonia as you can see i do have a lot of leaf matter in my garden bed i do that purposefully it may not be pretty for everybody's taste but it is there for a reason to enrich the soil and it has done an amazing job doing so now this sweet William is a different color than the one I just showed you it is looking really raggedy right now because it is going over it's gonna give seed here very soon I'm gonna have to watch this very closely so I can collect seed or cut it back I really feel like cutting it back but I want it to go to seed and as you can see um, right in there those are seed pods coming up and they're gonna pop um, soon in the season so this one is about ready to go over I may just go ahead on and cut these blooms and give it see if it'll give me another flush of flowers and uh, then collect seed later on I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to chop these blooms off because they look really sad and I'm going to see if it'll give me another flush 
again uh, begonia i just planted up some more of that clover that i found uh in the yard it had bloomed and flown in the yard so I, I dug up four little pieces of clover so now i will have a red clover that's just like that over here as well so this will be chock full of plants wild as well as native i've got some chickweed this looks like chickweed right in here um if you've got chickens you can feed your chickens chickweed good free food i have a lot of morning glories right in here that's going to be growing um, up here hopefully really soon I have a flush right in the center if you can tell what they look like these are morning glories all in here and so they're going to be growing up and onto um, the podium again more of that beautiful blue flower I can't remember what this flower is called um, I had a flower packet mix that I spread out a couple of years ago and this is one that decided it was strong enough to, to live in the environment so it pushes out every year again more begonias that blue flower i was just telling you guys about and it is coming to seed in certain areas which is fine by me more of that native flower with that blue um blue tip again more begonias more begonias more red clover more of that native that's going to push out now this one i definitely want to go to seed i want to um, save seed for this one most definitely and as you can see some of the flowers in here have spent this is a, a beautiful sweet william it's in the dianthus family and i absolutely love this color more than any of the others that i have sorry about that you guys i got dirt on my face um, hate that hate when that happens when you're digging and dirt flies in your face but isn't that beautiful and over right behind it I popped in a red clover so this is the front garden bed it's not the best but it is what it is for right now there are many things still growing in but for right now this would do just nicely thanks for watching